In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Matthias, Apostle. Pag sinabing feast, fiesta talaga yan. Kaya mabuti nagsimba kayo ngayon. To prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let's call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, yes. Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life, Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory. God who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the, play, in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who are arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us 
and was allo allo allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of, men, of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness of his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias, then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of this two you have chosen to take the place in his apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots of them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the sitting of the sun, in the name of the Lord to be praised, high above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Please stand. I choose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has a greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. 
I no longer call you slaves. Because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I've called you friends because I've told you everything I've heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. Appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. If you were listening to the first reading, there is the story of the apostles. To be an apostle is to be appointed and chosen by God. Tandaan nyo ang word chosen. Pinili. Inutusan. Halimbawa ako ngayon. Kanin-kanina pa, bago kayo nagsimba ngayon, may bumulong na sa inyong isipan. Yes, ta ngayon. Magsimba tayo. At para meron tayong hingin kay St. Matthew. Matthew was a latecomer of the twelve apostles. Meron lang bumigay at naalis sa bilang ng apostles. Anong nangyayari? Dahil sa pera. Sa gustong gusto ang pera, ipinagbili ang kanyang kaibigan. Ang pera nga naman, pag nahulog tayo doon, pag wala tayong iniisip kundi pera, babagsak tayo. Mawawala tayo. Titiwalag tayo sa Panginoon. That is one major cause why we leave the Lord. We choose to be away from Him. And it is material things which blind us and make us decide mas masarap ang puno ang wallet kaysa doon tayo sa tabi ng Panginoon. Gawa ng pag gusto ng Panginoon na doon tayo sa kanyang tabi He will tell us, you lead simple lives. Anong ibig sabihin ng simple life? Avoid 
useless things. Let us be satisfied. Let us be contented with what comes to our life. Ang Diyos ang bahala sa atin. Huwag tayo maghabol sa pera. Hayaan natin ang kailangan natin pera. Lalapit yan. At hindi tayo pabayaan ng Panginoon. Alisin natin sa ating isipan yung bagay na pera parati. Sa totoo lang, iyan parati ang ating pangarap. Iyan parati ang ating iniisip. Ibig sabihin, wala tayong tiwala sa Panginoon. We have little trust that He will take care of us. Sabi ni Saint Teresa of Avila, if you love pleasures, you will not be able to pray. Ibig sabihin, paglikas kang tamad, hindi ka magdarasal. Sa isang araw, kung meron kayo panahon, magbabad sa teleserye. E bakit hindi ka pwedeng magbabad sa five mysteries ng rosary. Isipin natin ang ating pagka makamundo, the world, at iyan ay pagdasal natin parati na yon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help me. Masyado akong makamundo. I am fun of material things all the time. In food, in thought, and yan parati. Let us pray to the Lord. He will help us. Hindi natin kaya yan. Mag-isa, hindi natin kaya. Kailangan natin ang Panginoon. Sabi ng isang Dominican na manunulat si B. Jaret, Discouragement is the greatest evil of today. We get discouraged kasi maya't maya bagsak na naman sa dating kasalanan. Do not be discouraged. There will come the time when you will be ready and God will give you the full grace to overcome sin. The time will come when you will overcome sin because it is Jesus, it is Christ who fights for us. We all stand.
God chose Matthias to be an apostle, a witness to the resurrection. Let us pray that the Father's will may be done on earth in all places and undertakings. We respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the spirit of wisdom may guide the Pope and the bishops, especially in the exercise of their ministry as shepherds of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may be zealous in their commitment to partake in saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be an increase in priestly and religious vocations in our community and in the family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated men and women may have true spirit of Jesus who came to serve and not to be served. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions. At ipagdasal po natin ang mga taong mamatay ngayong araw na ito na hindi sila mawawalan ng pag-asa at nag-aantay ang Panginoon na humingi sila ng patawad pagkatapos mangumpisal sa pare. Almighty God, your Son chose us and bore fruit in our lives. Grant these prayers we make to intercession of St. Matthias through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those sub-appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Lord. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for there is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Matthias and the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic and all the saints of please you throughout the ages. May Mary to be coerced to eternal life may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father, in the words our Savior taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Prayer after communion. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts and through the blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of saints in light through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Linga in Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, 
for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in the Gupan. Let us answer together, grant through our prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary, walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through our prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayers on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayers so that, so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple of the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call of the priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessing of the sick. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from our illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries and religious articles be blessed, made holy, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Isang palala. Try to come to Mass on time. It is not enough. Tatakbo kayo, magkukumunyon. That is not the Mass. The communion will have to be reserved in the context of the Mass. The Mass is Word and Eucharist. Baguhin po natin atong ugali para naman meron tayong pakitang respeto sa Panginoon. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.